You alright? You look like you're struggling. Fuck you. Watch this, people. Watch this. Watch this. Done, 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 done. <laughs> He wants to see a grown man cry. Don't, don't be horrible, <laughs> just don't be horrible. <laughs> How long has it been since you've done legs? Months and months and months. Months? Yeah. Months. months. So we're doing leg extensions. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to be a fun one. What we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a triple drop. We're going to do four drops. Okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to max out on uh, each set. Now, it's taken me a while to get uh, sort of back into training, get the love back into training. But when I say um, I'm going to max out this time, some of you will be thinking, well, you don't max out every session. No, um, mainly as well, because I've just gone back on the gear uh, the last six to seven weeks um, a little bit harder, plus I've been taking the mental X. Now, what you tend to find is your muscle fibers will start getting ahead of themselves, uh, will start getting a lot stronger than what your actually tendons are. So you have to take your time, you have to train smart because that's when you start getting a cramp up and a muscle tear. So what you don't want to do is just as you're starting to get your head back into training, just start as you start getting your food on point, um, you start getting yourself on a routine, you don't want to start um, pushing yourself beyond your actual fucking limits and hurting yourself, then putting yourself back. Um, but I feel quite comfortable today. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna max out on the, um, on the heaviest set. We're gonna drop it, drop it, and then just do as many as I can on the last one. Um, but with each set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the same um, the same principle of what we are doing. So I'm going to do as many as I can, full reps. Then I'm going to do as many as I can. When I start getting fatigued and I know I won't be able to do another full rep, I'm going to start doing some partial reps, but controlled partials. Now what you'll tend to find, if you just look around whatever gym it is that you're training, when you watch somebody, let's say for instance on the pec deck, and then they start getting fatigued, what they end up doing is they end up speeding up yeah. the partial reps and putting their head down. It takes something very special to just stop, fix yourself in that position, do partial reps, but squeeze each rep, control each rep. That is where you're gonna get the most benefit. Um, now with legs, it's, just, it's especially difficult because training legs, let's be honest, is very uncomfortable and it's very painful, you know, and it takes a lot of energy. Um, but this is what makes us different from the rest. So what I would suggest is if you've never done this way of training before, do it with somebody, get their leg, and what you do is you kick the pad against their leg, but you hold the pad against the leg. That's what I mean about doing a controlled partial. You don't just kick it, kick it, kick it um, with momentum. You want to take the momentum out of the rep. So I'm going to kick it against your leg down, kick it against your leg down. Yeah. But I'm not going to use um, Winston's leg here because he's going to be filming. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control the partial movement. I know where the position should be. I'll do it enough. Yeah. Um, but what I'm trying to say is those people out there are new to the game, I would get your training partner's leg and use his leg as a guide. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> I could drag this on a little bit more, but it ain't gonna get any easier, no. is it? No. Ready? Just rock and roll, mate. Just move. Come on, come on, Don't you move. 
let you live. Now the lactic acid is going to kick in very quickly on the next couple of sets, but that doesn't matter. It's not the amount of reps you do, it's how you do them. Thank you. 